coach was like, you know, we got three back packing. I think you're interested in spot in. Man, let's go. You know, I'm excited, man. So just being able to do that and be out there with those guys, especially knowing his last time being out there was fun. You know, I enjoyed every day. What does it tell you about where things go from here for you uh, next season? Man, like I told you a couple weeks ago, man, you know, my goal is to, you know, be the starter next year yeah. alongside Nick or whoever else on the other side and be able to make plays for this defense. So I feel like um, tonight was eye-opening. You know, let me know more than anything that, you know, I can do this and that, you know, I can, I can, I can be out there and I can, you know, I can hang with the big dogs, you know, so I'm saying. So going to the offseason, you know, work on what I got to work on, get better and be out there to be able to do starting next year. Was there a, you know, welcome to big time college football moment for you tonight? Just, you know, anything that kind of shocked you or anything that you struggled with that, yeah, Open your eyes a little bit. I wouldn't bit. say shocked, but 66 did kind of like chuck slam me a little bit on <laughs> one, one of my pass rushes. So uh, that was kind of like, you know, what the heck. But other than that, man, you know, it was, you know, I was, I feel like I was prepared. You know, I got a great coach and coach Bobby April. You know, he prepared me for this game. You know, he's prepared me all season, you know, for moments like this. So being out there, I was comfortable, you know, and I just, you know, played my game. What was just that, that first snap like? I mean, you had, you obviously, you know, played in the Rutgers game, but, yeah. you know, being in there early in the game is obviously right. a different story. What was that like just to kind of get in there early and, you know, be thrown in the fire like that. It was, it was crazy, you know. Obviously, you know, before the game, you know, nerves are you know, doing what they're doing. You know, we got there so quick, and like, oh, got to step out of it, got to go. You know, so it was, it was fun to be. I think we got an interception that first place, so you know, it wasn't much time to think about being out there, just you know, going with having fun. So it was, it was fun. Um, this 2021 class got a lot of guys on the field that this season, and you know, even the higher rate of linemen obviously aren't going to be you know making much of an impact for another year or two. Does that excite you about the future? Of program just how many guys were able to make uh, an impact on what's a pretty veteran team yeah I was it's, it's so exciting um, um, our goal as he says we were talking about since you know COVID we couldn't even make visit we wanted to come here and make a national championship run and I feel like this class is you know going to be a big building block and you know what the future holds and to get our, our everybody's common goal which is to win a national championship the coaching staff has been very complimentary of you even you know though, though you weren't playing a regular rotation role this season what was it like just kind of have to wait your turn through through 12 games Games. I mean, was that hard to do when you're coming off, you know, a state championship team yeah. where, you know, you're playing every down? Um, no, it wasn't hard at all. You know, I was early on, you know, because you know, at the beginning of camp, I expected to be, you know, um, playing more than I did. But as season went on, I understood how much I had to learn. You know, and I got guys like Noah Burks and, you know, uh, Nick Herrick, who been, you know, been playing, who taught me so much this year that I wouldn't trade it for the world. So being able to, you know, wait my turn, you know, helped me more than anything. From fall camp, where, where do you think you were able to just make the biggest strides in your game that allowed you to get on the field tonight? Yeah, I feel like everything made a strong. Uh, every part of my game from pass rush to coverage to uh, being able to stop the run, everything has kind of uh, made a big stride you know, through these 12 weeks, and you know, I feel like I've got a lot better. How big of a building block can it be for uh, for you in this offseason? Yeah. Tonight, tonight, how big of a big building block can it be for you? Uh, a huge building block. Um, I'm excited. I mean, being out there tonight kind of showed me like I can I can hang with the big dogs. I can like I can I can do this. You know, because like cause I've been, I was in a Rutgers game, you know, kind of some garbage time. Being out there early and being out there uh, helped me, you know, see that, you know, I can do this and just help me to just see things I got to work on and get better and be able to make a lot of plays next year. You, you mentioned you, you want to start next year. That That's one of your goals. Um, what do you kind of just think of uh, the outside linebacker room in terms of a competition standpoint in order for you to do that, especially when Aaron gets healthy? Yeah, right. Uh, uh, Aaron and I talk all the time, and our goal as a unit is to be the best outside linebacker unit in the country. So it's going to be competitive. You know, that's how you want it. You know, I would not rather have it any other way. I'm excited for guys like Aaron to get back and CJ and Spurs, everybody to come back, everybody, so we can compete, you know, because it's only going to make everybody better in the world.